Hi friends! If you have ever thought about how to add style and speed to your props, then you can find something useful to your pipeline in my video. I will show you how I quickly texture stylized game assets. Well, it's not such a big secret to hide from you. Any 3D moderator eventually builds their library of useful tools that speed their workflow up. When you have already made materials, many things get done much faster. I have many different stylized materials for different cases, so in this video I will show how I use them. Essentially, when you have your own library, all texturing process simplifies itself to just tweaking the material and uh, uh, adjusting colors to the concept. If you are interested in creating such stylized universal material, drop a comment below, so I will know that it's interesting for you. My materials use a variety of masks and different generators that works on baked maps. For the wooden parts on my bird's head I got lucky, because I have ideal material that match color and look of original concept. The feathers on the head were tricky, and sculpting them was not easy too. Now I think maybe I should use just painted feathers with alpha and uh, not spend time on sculpting them. Now I think it might look like overkill. Matching colors for feathers was not easy too, uh, especially to make them harmonize with the head. I added a gradient for the smooth transition on the head. I use the position gradient to make a beautiful transition between two colors. For the card I think I also overdid the sculpting. Now I think I could spend less time on it. The stylized lightning generator plays a huge role in building a stylized material. It adds a volume to the base color map immediately. The simplest part is the PLO material. They are almost white, so I just needed to uh, emphasize the shadows on it. And those shadows have been sculpted already in the brush. For metal, I have a really fun material that I made for hardware that I use in my 3D pet shop asset. It has a nice shimmer and even a mimics of uh, Fresnel's effect. I did not overthink a rug either. I have a ready-made material for it. The wines are also quite straightforward. They should not stand out so much and they serve as uh, quiet accents. I decided to simplify the back and did not add a white board and extra detailing. Firstly, for saving time. 
I've been working on this project like uh, forever, so I just need to wrap it up as soon as possible. And secondly, to avoid uh, overloading on already detailed image. My jars need to be made from glass and for this I use a metal material and just control an alpha channel. According to the concept there is some glowing liquid inside the jars. This requires the using of emission map. There is no special material for this, because the glowing effect uh, like eating all the details and makes them unnoticeable. The flowers look a bit odd in uh, Substance Painter, but later in Marmoset Toolbag with uh, option Cool Back Faces uh, unchecked, this looks much better and uh, beautiful. I won't go deep into the rendering in this video. If you would be interested about the rendering in Marmoset Toolbag or texturing in Substance Painter, um, about more detailed tutorial, then drop a comment and I will work on it. Thanks for the watching! Bye!